Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I'm doing uh, pork cutlets and I'm not going to do them the way I did them last time. This time I'm going to do them different. I found a container of Italian style breadcrumbs. Well, when you look into it, you have to look for the seasoning. So I took my Italian bread, my Italian seasoning, and I dumped three tablespoons into it and shook it up. So this is going to have like an Italian flair to it. And you're going to need a bowl. I might as well show you what I'm doing. I'm actually beating two eggs with a tablespoon of milk. I sifted the flour from previous frying and using it. I always tell you I do that, so you already know what I'm doing there. I've got six pork cutlets, and look how beautiful they are. See how thin they are? Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, let's see. I had about this much breadcrumbs left that had Italian, they said Italian style. When I looked, I couldn't see any seasoning. So I poured in three tablespoons, shaking it up. And now you can see the seasonings in there. And now it smells more like Italian. I have some oil. I'm always talking, you know, how I strain my oil. And I only use it so many times. I'm gonna do these up in this oil. I can't remember if it was corn oil, an olive blend, or which oil it was. I cannot remember often. Why is it you always cry when I start getting on the video? No! Now, a woman had said she could not see what I was doing. And she said she can't I told her that I had walked her through the wiener stencils, which is pretty much doing veal cutlets, except that instead of this time with just salt and pepper, I am doing it with Italian breadcrumbs this time, instead of just regular breadcrumbs and uh, just salt and pepper. All right, so I'm gonna put you, let's see, where can I put you? Hmm? I told you, this is gonna be a little difficult. Oh, he is really upset with me. All right, I'm putting my flame on. I'm just trying to figure out how I can arrange it so you can see everything that I'm doing. All right, if I turn you down here, I'm gonna have to leave you back here so you can see the steps I go, then I'm gonna put it in the oil and fry it up. The first place you take a cutlet is you're gonna put this in the flour. I don't even remember which flour this is, so please don't ask me, because I'm not gonna remember. Okay, you're gonna take this and then dip it in milk, an egg. This is my egg mixture milk. It's a tablespoon of milk and two eggs. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this into these breadcrumbs because if you don't they're going to come off so they want you to really press them on. This is something you should do if you have cube steaks as well. Press it in. So these are the steps that you go to make uh, veal cutlets, pork cutlets, wiener schnitzels, except with wiener schnitzels they don't use seasonings except salt and pepper. I sit there and uh, like I said, I wanted to put Italian in it this time. Now we have to wait for that oil to get hot. I got so many plates and stuff. I'm just waiting on this. Now that you know how I'm going to lay these out, what they have to go through, now I'm going to 
gonna try to get you where you can see it being fried. So I'm gonna have to go behind you and we'll move you up front. So now you know how to do this. Come on, get off. Because they're cut real thin, you don't have to sit there and uh, cook them for an extremely long time. And by pressing the flour in, when this gets hot, I'll show you. When you press it in, look, look how it acts. That's why you press it in. That's why they say press hard to get the breadcrumbs to stick. This should be a short video because I already showed you. You flour them, you egg them, and the egg is two eggs and a tablespoon of milk. The flour is just leftover flour that I've used. I sifted, and I'm using Italian breadcrumbs, and I added more Italian seasonings in it because I wanted more flavor to these. And we'll also finish up the cilantro uh, potato salad that's going with this. And if you let the uh, meat dry with those breadcrumbs, it does a beautiful job. enough oil so it floats so you can sit there and it doesn't stick to the bottom. So this is a quick and an easy meal to do. It doesn't take a lot of work. See how it browns up? Isn't that amazing?
they're nice and crunchy. So that'll be nice to go with the uh, potato salad, the cilantro potato salad that we're making. When I'm done here, I'm going to chop up or crumble up the bacon and sprinkle bacon on it and get some fresh cilantro leaves and sprinkle on top and that potato salad will be done. Dip them in the egg. Make sure you completely cover them so the breadcrumbs can stick to them, other than that, they won't stick. And press those breadcrumbs in to the meat. I'm going to keep on frying and I will be back. Okay, here are the pork cutlets. Take care. Okay, here is the um, cilantro potato salad. It's been four hours. I've got the bacon here. I'm going to break the bacon up and put over it like this. You need four slices of bacon to do this. So as you can see, this is really coming out to be a nice salad as well. It's got protein in it, it's got starch, it's got vegetables in it, a little bit of everything in it. Now we'll get some cilantro and I will sit there. I know I shouldn't, but I did. Snitch a piece of bacon. I'm cooking that. Definitely going to do it. Let me get some fresh cholesterol. And we will dress this up. Now you do not have to uh, chuck the cilantro up. You can just take the leaves, and design it up very, very nice around it. That's all you have to do. You already have cilantro in it, so you're just bringing it more up to some color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? The 
that's all you have to do. You don't have to do a lot to anything to dress it up. You just have to think about it to bring your colors about. Okay? So, that's it. You take care. Bye-bye.